Hey everyone, Mr. Sujano here. We've got some new miniature arcade cabinets coming from Taito and uh, Sega. Let's get started. All right, to kick things off, we're gonna start out here with the Taito Agret 2 Mini because we discussed it earlier on this year. Now, if you wanna know pretty much everything I know about the Taito Agret 2 Mini, I'll leave a link to that video in the description below. Everything is still relevant, even though the video came out back in June. The only thing that's really changed since that video is the fact that the Taito Agret 2 Mini is no longer a Japan exclusive. It looks like United Games here will be releasing it to Western and European markets. I have no idea how many North American and European versions will be available or what the price is going to be on them, but it does say they will be available starting in 2022. And something else that's interesting here, it says different exclusive editions. So I don't know here, there's a lot I don't know, but I don't know here if this is gonna be an actual exclusive unit or if it's just gonna be exclusive packaging, kind of like what Limited Run did with that Sega Astro City Mini that was exclusive to them. As a quick refresher here, the Taito Agret 2 Mini has 40 games that are pre-installed on it, and there is a slot here on the side for a micro SD card. We don't know yet if this can be hacked, but that slot is designed for 10 extra games for use with a paddle and trackball. Now, the absolute coolest thing about the Taito Agret 2 Mini, at least in my opinion here, is the fact that the screen will flip from landscape to portrait mode, which will be great for shoot 'em ups And speaking of shoot 'em ups Sega has recently announced the Astro City V Mini, where V stands for vertical. Truth be told here, the Astro City V Mini is pretty much the exact same as the Astro City Mini that Sega released a little while back. The main difference is that this has a vertical screen instead of a landscape screen and, well, there are different games on this too. As far as I can tell here, the Astro City V Mini will have 22 games in total, including a bunch I have never heard of before. I'm going to leave a link to this games list in the description below, feel free to check it out. There are some pretty darn good games on here though. On a quick side note here, as far as I know, nobody has released any hacks yet for the Astro City Mini, so I wouldn't get my hopes up about hacking the Astro City V Mini if you wanted to put on a few extra games. As for pricing here, the Astro City V Mini is currently listed on Amazon Japan for 19,580 yen which works out to about 170 American dollars, and then you have to pay for shipping, and it's currently up for pre-order. It will be released on September 30th of next year, and there are some accessories for it as well, just like the Astro City Mini. For comparison here, the Taito Agret 2 Mini is also up for pre-order on Amazon Japan for 16,973 yen, and that works out to about 20 bucks cheaper, about 150 American dollars, and then you have to factor in shipping. Uh, this will be released a little bit earlier on March 2nd, and this is the Japanese release, not the North American and European version release. And yes, just like the Astro City Mini and now the Astro City V Mini, there are a bunch of different accessories you can get for it. At the end of the day here, some people might see these devices as tacky and cheesy, and I can completely understand that, but I see them as pretty darn cool. I'm glad companies are paying attention to older arcade games, and yes, these are probably not the best way to play those old arcade games, but at the same time here, if you're a collector, if you're an enthusiast, well, these might be pretty attractive. If they're sitting on a shelf, they might be a great decoration, a functional decoration. They won't be a cheap decoration, but at the same time, have you seen the price of retro games? Well, these might seem like a bargain in comparison. But anyways, that is all I've got for this video. Let me know your thoughts about the Agret 2 Mini and the Astro City V Mini in the comments below. Are you interested in them? Are you not interested in them? Which one do you prefer out of the two? Are they priced okay or are they too expensive? Let me know in the comments below. If you like this video, leave a like. If you didn't like this video, leave a like. Hit that subscribe button, check out my other videos. Thank you everyone, take care.